one that every angel investor like myself wishes he could get a lock on. In fact, every manager and business owner needs this skill just to survive with today's pace of change. We all wish we were the next Steve Jobs or Elon Musk or Thomas Edison. If we're not, then at least we would like to recognize them when they come through the door, or better yet, create a few like them in our own organization. And Tiffany says, it sounds like you're saying Tampon Tony, Teflon, (laughs) T-E-F-L-O-N, L-O-L. Not Tampon Girl, come on. (laughs) Get your head out the gutter, this is not the time. Okay. So, I wish I understood what makes some people so spectacularly innovative, producing triumph after triumph while the rest of us merely get by. I was at this point for a lot of years. I've seen a lot of speculation on this challenge over the years, but I was recently impressed with the insights in a new book, Quirky, by Melissa A. Skilling. From her position as a professor at NYU Stern and recognition as one of the world's leading experts on innovation, She takes a deep dive into the lives and foibles of eight well-known innovators, including the ones mentioned. One of her encouraging conclusions is that we all have potential in this regard, which can be brought out naturally by life circumstances and special circumstances, or nurtured by the people and culture around us. I'll paraphrase her key recommendations for capitalizing on this potential for use on yourself and members of your team. One, insensitive people to challenge norms and accepted constraints. Everyone wants to fit in, but most of us have felt a sense of being an outsider, which needs to be nurtured rather than crushed. In business, that means never saying or implying that's not the way things are done around here. It also means giving people opportunities in areas they have interests, but no track record. Elon Musk, for example, had no experience or training as a rocket scientist when he came up with the idea of reusing rockets and the innovative idea for SpaceX. Two, give people time to think beyond current job assignments. When you're looking for breakthroughs, you need time to think outside the box without fear of consequences. Make it clear, as they do at Google, that you are expected to spend some 20% time outside your current job assignment. The payoff value of a person working along on side projects, tapping into intrinsic motivation, has been the source of several of Google's most famous products, including Gmail. Three, reinforce people's belief in their ability to succeed. One of the most powerful ways to increase creativity at both the individual and organizational level is to encourage people to take risks by lowering the price of failure and even celebrating bold but intelligent failures. Also, creating near-term project milestones with plenty of opportunities to celebrate early progress is extremely valuable to reinforce people's belief in their ability. Oh, well, oh, LOL, will I need to try to catch it, LOL? Yeah, catch that. Yeah, just play it back, girl. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Four, inspire ambitions by setting grand goals and purpose. Driving business goals that have a social component that people can embrace as improving quality of life provides intrinsic motivation to increase creativity and effort in their activities. Steve Jobs was obsessed revolutionizing personal expression more than making a computer. I love that. Five, tap into people's natural interests and favorite activities. In business, this is called finding the flow. It requires both self-awareness on what you like to do and a willingness on the part of your manager to personalize work assignments. With most jobs, there are many ways to, to get results. So let your employees tell you what steps and tools they prefer. Mm-hmm. Thomas Edison loved to solve problems, and he designed his own experiments. Thus, he was happy to persevere despite 10,000 of his light bulb filament material tests that didn't work. Six, increase focus on technological and intellectual resources. With today's pervasive access to the Internet, with powerful search tools from Google, Wolfram Alpha, and many others, The Library of Congress is at everyone's fingertips. They just need the inspiration, time, 
and training to capitalize on these tools and the new devices that arrive every day. Shilling, and I do agree that you have to start with people who possess substantial intellect, so the conventional indicators of skill and accomplishments cannot be ignored. In addition, it's important to find partners and team members with a high need for achievement, a passionate idealism, and faith in their ability to overcome obstacles often seen as a level of quirkness. We are talking here about finding and nurturing people who can literally help you change the world. Because that's what breakthrough innovation is all about. If your business and personal goals don't measure up to that standard today, maybe your first focus, first focus, excuse me, should be on rethinking your own objectives. The bar for staying competitive in business keeps going up. And that is our quote for the day. So guys, sorry, but I do have to run. Good afternoon, morning, and evening. And I will see you soon on Season 1 Reunion soon. Have a great night and evening. You guys have a good night and evening. And I mean really good night and evening. You take care of yourself. I'll be back tomorrow night. Check out Reunion Season 1. Peace. We are now transferring you to a customer care room. Please hold the line and we will answer your call as soon as possible. Thank you for choosing me. By the way, to ensure you're getting great service, your call may be recorded or monitored.